Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. But I have a health update while we blast Blasphemy's daily demo of the day. Blood Upon the Altar, Nuclear War Now reissue. Originally released in 1989. This changed the fucking game. In case you didn't know, now you know. I also have this on vinyl, but it's kind of cool. And I know a lot of people, they're not the biggest fans of this album, but I actually really like it. Gods of War, this is the Osmos version, and Side B is actually the Blood Upon the Altar demo. I think it's black vinyl. I forget. But uh, you get this awesome booklet with one of the best photos ever on it. I love that fucking illustration. But it's great, like. Because when Nuclear War Now reissued all this stuff, like, last year, I know they're doing some Conqueror reissues, and I really hope they do some Conqueror cassettes, which I'm sure they will. But, um, yeah, the Gods of War booklet, I don't know if this comes with the Nuclear War Now version, I'm sure it does, but this has the Blood Upon the Altar demo, so... Instead of, you know, having to buy both LPs separately, they're both here together. But I love the way the tape sounds, like, but one of my, the best promo photo, like, ever. The infamous couch photo. But, anyways. I'm sorry about that, but that's the Osmos version of Gods of War. Weird artwork, but I, I don't care. I like the black and white art of this. It actually, it works a lot better. But still, like, I think it's a good release. I mean, it's... Like, nothing's really as gnarly as, like, Fallen Angel of Doom. Like, if that's your debut, like, yeah, like, you fucking killed it. It's the same with Conqueror, like, you know? You can't really go wrong if you're a fan of this style of music with this compilation right here. So, like, the fact that this is all getting reissued again, you know, I don't know if it's all gonna be on its own or if they're just reissuing the compilation, but definitely trying to get this on cassette if they do put it on cassette. But, um, I'm so fucking grateful, though. I got a call from my neurologist today. And here's pretty much the deal. I still have some torn muscles in my neck. Uh, but my bones all healed. So that's awesome. I'm not going to try and ride my bike, though, until Christmas. Like... I need more time for these muscles to heal because it still feels like somebody like... Have you ever got hit by a pitch like playing baseball as a kid? That's what it feels like sometimes if I turn my head too fast or like forget and like might nod my head a little bit too quickly like not head banging but just instinctively like you know like I, I've learned it's been really hard, but like my buddy Josh was like, How have you been dealing with not headbanging? And it's this. Like, just. I've been paying a lot more attention to the drumming and just playing air guitar and being a fucking dork. Because I love extreme metal and I'm not gonna let not being able to headbang fuck it up for me. Like,. I even said if we ever perform live, I already know how I'm handling it. If you've ever seen Mortuary Drape, like, you pretty much have an idea of what I'm doing already. But, um, anyways, 
I'm just beyond grateful for everybody's support since that live at the ICU video, which I made myself watch yesterday. And it, it legit was upsetting. I'm not gonna lie, seeing yourself in that state, it, it's gnarly, man. And like knowing I'm lucky to even be talking to you people, it's like just awesome. And I'm grateful for the few hundred that, you know, give a fuck, stick around, hit me up, listen to my bands. Like, we're selling CDs of the Goat Worm, uh, baptismal excrement demo on CD. So, uh, they're on these uh, faux vinyl CDs. And like it has goat worm on like the middle like white label. It's really badass. Uh, we were inspired by Blasphemy's Fallen Angel of Doom with the uh, first cover being black and red, and this one being like the opposite, like white and red, like how they did it with uh, you know like if you've ever seen the white and red. Blasphemy Fallen Angel of Doom. We did that with the second, well, the CD press of Goat Worm, Baptismal Excrement. So it's kind of, it's a little tip of the hat, like, you know. But, uh, we have a new Accursed Womb song. It's a dollar a download. Um, and, yeah, I, I'm just, I just wanted to give everybody, you know, an update on how I'm doing and from the doctors like everything's healing correctly the bones are healed especially that fragment that was just floating around in there it fused back into my skull and that's fucking <laughs> amazing but uh you know I'm not out of the woods yet I still have a look I guess it's gonna be a long recovery until I feel a hundred percent like but that might never happen, but, you know, at least I'll be able to pedal a bicycle around and just, you know, not just... Because I've been stressed out over the past, like, couple months that the bones weren't healing correctly. And if that happened, what the fuck were they going to do? Like, I, I was just scared. And so that phone call just, you know, I'm sorry I'm not making a new video. Like, I know I'm backed up too, but like, I'm just fucking grateful right now. And I just wanted to say thank you. Cause like, legit, I, I just, pushing through the pain to give like, you folks content and stuff. Like, you know. Like that, like it was hard to do, but I felt like it was worth it. Like it gave me a reason to push myself, and I'm grateful for that. So thank you. Virtual handshake. I don't care how corny it is. I really mean that. Like fuck yeah. But we were blasting blasphemies, blood upon the altar daily demo of the day it's a fucking classic i mean come on but as always thanks for watching you fucking rule go uh buy a goat worm cd or download it digitally check out the new accursed womb song fucking a man hails happy friday